Hey everyone, Wanderer here. Welcome back. So, uh, we have come back to the tomb. We slept for the night, come back to the tomb. I just opened the door with that sapphire claw that we got from Wilhelm, the innkeeper, after handing him the journal that this guy was keeping. So, I guess now we proceed in and see what this place is all about. I suppose getting a weapon out would be good, right? Very spooky sounding. There's a book. Okay, this is definitely going to pop open and have a fight over here. Maybe, maybe both of those. Mage armor. This has to be a trap, right? Hello? I knew it. Ow. Frost damage? What did frost damage to me? Is there a mage in here? Oh yeah, there is. Okay. Fair enough. So what does this do? This opens as well, but it's all caved in. Was there a secondary switch in this one? And what would that switch have done if we had had it? Mage armor on self, what does that do exactly? Armor rating by 24 for 60 seconds. I guess if it stacks with other stuff, I guess it's pretty good. It's not bad. Okay. The water's cool and refreshing. But what does... Okay, I mean... What's that do? Can we go under there? That's definitely a trap. So is that. Really? Didn't kill you? I guess because you're a skeleton you need blunt weapons to do more damage. Okay, we're going to have more jump out of there for sure. Like, you know what's going to happen. Oh boy, that's a lot of them. And there's fire down there. Um, do I have it that does fire? Staff of fireballs? Yeah, there we go. That'll do, I guess. That'll do. Didn't actually jump out and have a thing there, just a dead skeleton. You, however... Different story. I thought for sure this would be like a bridge that fell down whenever you press something, but I guess not. Guess not. Did we get them all with that? Looks like it. Secret door? Got a weird lighting to it whenever I walk by. Probably just a lighting glitch.
Hello. Did that kill him? I think we got him. But unfortunately now we have to deal with the these things. That sucks. No switch to turn him off. Like, yeah, we got him, but now we gotta deal with this. Ooh, hey, he had a circlet on him. Maybe I should check them more often. Might find a random circlet once in a while, or a ring or something. Hello, mister. I am so stealthily waiting here. Certainly not an enemy at all. Definitely not an enemy waiting to resurrect behind you. Me too. Definitely not. Certainly. They would never do that. The number one change I would ask for with this, not because it's like difficult, it doesn't add difficulty, it's just tedious and dumb, is to make the lock picking a little bit less, um, how can I put this? F***ing stupid. That's, that's what the lock picking in this is right now, it's just, and the F word needs to be there because I need to emphasize how stupid it is. Snake, 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 snake! Oh, we can turn these. I see. Hey, you're draining my stamina, man. Not cool. What's gonna happen in here? If I step on this, bad things. Will they open these, and then enemies will come out at me? That's my assumption. But maybe it'll open a secret way we can go to as well. Hmm. Fish? Oh, we're gonna have to open these so we can see what it is. I see. So it's, it's fish. Next one, please. Oh, come on, this is taking forever. Fish, fish, bird. Okay, fish, bird, fish, bird, snake, fish. Got it. Ah, it opens it up. Cool. It opens the door. What else we got around here? There's a totally separate way we could have gone to that I want to kind of go back to now and see if there's anything there. Huh. Nothing here, eh? Dead Draugr here. Okay. Interesting. Right, there is a whole other way we can go here. Let's not die to the traps. Oh, we... We are locked in. There's a different way we can go, though. Now I can't go that way. Very sad. I'm sure we'll be able to do it later on. We'll be able to get there, I'm sure. Okay, only one way to go now, then. Ah! Did you just kill yourself? Oh, no, okay. 
What did that then? Um, hold on. Do I have? You have unrelenting force on. Okay, that's fine. Bro, stop shooting me. Whoa. Sorry, dude. Ooh, greater soul gem. Thought I saw some holes in the ground and and the gold ingot, which is almost certainly going to start a trap that will roast us alive or something of that nature, right? Things are going to come out of the wall and poke us. Yeah, okay. I kind of want to go back here. Please don't automatically trigger on me for no reason. There's no trap here. Just want to look at the mural here. It's a pretty clear one. I see butterflies everywhere. Or maybe those are fairies. Wood bow, ruined books, and there's this guy. He's got weird staves in either hand with uh, some kind of animal head on top of it. Okay, we're going to the Shroud Hearth Depths. A heal potion, that's good. That looks menacing and also very cool. Get up, dude, get up. Oh my god, we're still going down the stairs. He knocked our asses all the way down the stairs. You know what? I can't do it. Why can't I cast it? Bro, what is going on? Am I out of healing potions? Why can't I cast my unrelenting force? Wouldn't let me cast it. Big heal potion. I don't have any stamina potions, do I? I've got regen. But that's it. No, I do have some stamina potions. Bro, I... Like... The second... Come on. Oh, it does nothing to you, I see. So for me... It knocks me down for like 20 minutes straight. But for you, you're just like, nah, I don't feel like, I don't feel like getting knocked over. I'm, I'm gonna stay standing, thanks. Uh, I need healing potions to be bound. Whatever, I'll figure out something in a second here. We call that rules for thee. But not for me. And it's BS. Thank goodness I have big damage with my two-handers. And we can just ignore fights. That would have been a tough fight, I'm sure. But we don't really need to worry about it because I can just hit them very hard and very fast.
No complaints, man. No complaints here. Alright, I seriously have to bind some of these health potions because this is getting annoying. So, you know, we're just gonna do all of them. So I can just have a nice passive heal over time going. We don't have any good ones. I got I really gotta make some more potions. Need to like, I don't know, so camp somewhere and make a bunch of potions. Or go back to base or something. I underestimated how many potions I'd be going through. By a lot. We're gonna need a lot more than what we have. Nothing here, eh? Alright. Up we go. Big chest? Who's gonna pop out and fight me? Oop. Yep. Waning shock. Very nice. Dagger of Blizzard. 25 points of frost damage. Just a lot of frost damage, dude. Dwindling frost. Ooh, there's another reason to use a shield, honestly, because you get another point, another piece of gear that you can put resist on. That's... Mm, that makes a compelling case. That alone makes a compelling case for, um... Ooh, okay. For, uh... One-handers. Sorry. I got distracted by getting shot by the poison. Just a mild overtime poison. Not a big deal. Orcish dagger. Thank you. Another heal potion. That's good. We're getting low. Oh, there's the... There's the dragon word. What do we get? Peace. Kind's peace. Does that mean, um, like, don't rise up again undead? Stay down undead? What's it do? I gotta know. Your thumb calls forth the grace of Mother Kind herself, calling, calming animals and filling your body with strength. Hmm, interesting. Kind peace. Your thumb imbues you with your arms with the speed of wind allowing for meteoric strikes does that mean like you hit really really freaking hard that's that's way cooler than I thought it was elemental fury sounds badass if I can hit even harder than I already hit then that would be great especially on a dragon I mean look normally I'm pretty happy with my damage output but you know against dragons and stuff hell yeah Give me that Elemental Fury. Allow me to hit very hard and very fast. Even more so than I currently do. Nothing else down here? Okay, well, if that's all there is, then that's all there is. Guess we made fairly quick work of that dungeon. This has definitely got to lead to that, that secret door that we saw earlier in the, uh, the guy's lab, right? To the back side of that? Yep, right there it is. I knew it. I knew it all along, guys. Actually, I didn't. I thought that we'd find a button to it inside of here. Oh, wait, no, never mind. This is a different area. Never mind. Place is damn near falling apart. Watch your head, folks. Oh, no, never mind. This is, th that was correct. See, I knew it all along. I knew it all along, guys. You know, we've got an alchemy bench right here. Literally right here. Let's see. Restore stamina. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of stuff. Purple mountain flowers. This is the worst one, though, right? Like, well, no, temper 20 is good. All right, that's cool. We'll do a bunch of these. What if I did Orange Dartwing plus something else, though? That's still Temper 20. What if I did this plus this? Still Temper 20. That's excellent. Okay, we're going to have so... We're about to have so many 
potions, guys. So many stamina potions. B plus purple mountain flower. Okay, it's only two. Bees, you suck. What if I do B plus this? Whoa. That's probably because Saber Cat Eye's good, though, right? B plus anything else. 10. Hey, that's not bad. Here, 15 per 20. That's good. That's good. 10 per 20 is good. Honeycomb is just bad, though. Reduces maximum and current stamina. And then it restores stamina. What a weird potion. This one's good. The oh, holy crap. Honeycomb plus mountain flower. 20 per 20. Hell yeah. Okay, that's good. Then restore health. Need some of those too. Restore health. These are just okay potions. They're not like the crazy oh crap potions. They're just okay. All right, what about um, resist? Resist magic would be good. That's badass. Blocking absorb too. We'll just do these though. Those are gonna be my oh crap resist magic potions. I really need for a, a crazy, you know, whatever. Someone told me I can do Fortify Enchanting. I don't think... Well, okay, so either... One of two things. Either I don't have... I don't know about it yet. Let me see. Is there anything I don't know in here? There probably is. Anything I should eat here to learn what it does. Or no. Goat Heart. Okay, no, that stuff is really good. I mean... It's not helpful to me. Resist Frost. Okay, cool. Restore Stam. Pearl. I hate eating this, but I don't even know why it does. I only had one of them. It's very unfortunate. That's it. So either uh, it doesn't exist, or I don't know it yet. What? Did I just get knocked down? What the hell happened to me? Something must have worn off, and I or happened with that potion, and it knocked me down. But yeah, I don't see Fortify Enchanting anywhere here, and I... It's entirely possible it doesn't exist, guys, because I'm pretty sure they got rid of enchanting, fortify, and fortify alchemy as well, because it's just too strong, and it just leads to making extremely overpowered stuff. Like, if that's a... I realize that's that's the loop in basic Skyrim, but I'm pretty sure Wildlander tries to eliminate that, that insane crazy loop so it's more reasonable, and you can't become... Just so absurdly overpowered that it's just, it's just stupid, you know, like... Because that's not really fun, right? Favorite that, very good potion, and... Can favorite the 5 per 20, we got lots of those, then we'll save the other ones for... Oh crap, or oh I don't need that much moments, I guess. Plenty of potions now. Where'd we find these, like, 50 or so vials to... Put those in? But do you not keep those around? Wasn't there a second way we could go back here, though? Like, I thought, um... There was a way we didn't go... ...over here... ...that we could have potentially gone, but we didn't. Right, like, can, can we go down in here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay, some... some money. Steel great sword. Oh. I guess that's how he died. He couldn't find the, uh... He couldn't find the thing. Wasn't there somewhere else we could go to? Yeah, we can go up further. No. Yeah, we can go up further. Right. Up to this level. Oh, master... Gosh darn it. Master lock again. Master lock strikes again. I hate this, guys. I absolutely hate it. I'm just gonna sit there in an inn and spend like 200 in-game days studying my lockpicking book so I can get my lockpicking up. It, it bothers me so much to leave these doors unopened. It really does. 
then making it 90. Is that how it is in the base game, or is that something that's added by the mod? That's one thing I don't agree with, really. Hello? Okay, never mind. I thought perhaps you were a baddie, but you were not. Okay, that's it in here. We're done. Twas a fun dungeon. But the day is yet young. It's only 1 p.m. We have plenty of time. We can go and do other things today. I suppose I ought to get a quick bath and such. Whoa, calm down, Dance. Be still yourself, Dance. I ought to go and get a bath real quick. And then maybe have some food. Apparently my cleanliness has worn off already. All right, let's be off. Oh, right, I wanted to talk to a guy over here as well. That was the whole purpose of coming back and stuff, was we wanted to go and talk to a guy. I was looking for a guy named K Kl Klimert? Klubert? Klinderton? I don't know what his name was. It was something weird. Klimit? Hello, are you Klimit? Illustrious Kalthar. I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of me. Okay. Would you be more illustrious though? Till next time. To see the world, just like I did when I was her age. And if she decides to leave Iverston, what then? No. No, I can't bear the thought. My daughter's driving me crazy. So forgive me if I'm a bit on edge. Take a look. I mean, there's no, it's no, you know, none of my business, man. Chicken eggs, eh? Okay, I can do that for resist magic. These are all actually kind of useful. Um, do you accept fat as payment? You do, you say. And you'll pay a reasonable amount for it. Well, in that case, my friend, I'm going to buy your tomatoes, your honey, your flour, your everything here. And that's, you know what, I know you got cheese, but I'm going to pass on the cheese. I have plenty of my own cheese right now. So then we'll just sell you some, uh, some animal fat, eh? Good enough. Just get out of town as fast as you can. Nothing for anyone. Oh, you're a traveler. You must have so much to tell about the world outside this boring town. You want to come with me? You can follow me around and probably die when I forget where I placed you. It'd be great. I'm, I swear, oh my god, your mother just... Okay. What can you tell me about High Hrothgar? The Greybeards are a strange bunch. I heard they live their entire life without uttering a single word. Can you even imagine? Huh. I wish I could go with you. I need you to pitch in a little more around here, dear. I held Willin. Let's be realistic, that girl would die in our care. It would be bad. I'd forget about her. I'd probably end up swinging my sword accidentally and killing her myself. Let's be realistic. Followers don't do well with me. Well, this appears to be where we're supposed to go. Regardless, I guess, but... Was hoping to talk to this fellow. Before the birth of men, the dragons ruled all Mundus. Their word was the voice, and they spoke only for true needs. For the voice could blot out the sky and flood the land. So they only spoke when they absolutely had to, because when they did speak, bad things could happen, because their voices were too strong.
recall this taking a long time on foot, but thankfully we're not on foot. We got a horse, so... Hello there, fellow pilgrim. Barknar. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Hrothgar. I indeed I saw one dead below us here. Did you hear the Greybeards call Dovahkiin? I did. Strange days when the monks will do that. I wonder what it means. Do you visit the Greybeards? They're not the sort to take visitors. But I never go that high up the path anyway. Some folk who make the trip leave them food or other essentials, but not to make conversation. So, what are you doing? I like to spend time up here. Walk the steps. Meditate on the emblems. Doesn't hurt when I bag some game along the way. Understandable. Aye. Men were born and spread over the face of Mundus. The dragons presided over the crawling masses. Men were weak then and had no voice. It's gonna be cold up here. Let's hope we, uh, you know, bear the elements okay. Very pretty, but also very cold. Snowcat. Sorry, Dance. It's weird what I remember, like, I remember specifically this little dip right here for some reason, walking up these stairs. Even though it's been so long since I played. Like, small little things sometimes jog my memory. Well, we're not freezing to death just yet, so maybe we'll be okay. Does this go... yeah, this goes up still. But there's a second way we can go over here, right? I suppose this is not really stairs, it's just kind of going up. I know that like, this is certainly not the actual scale of a mountain or anything. But Bethesda has a way of... Oh, no, I've, I'm crashing, aren't I? Oh, God. Oh, hell, I'm all the way back here where I was taking a shower. Gotta go through all that again. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I'll just sprint back up there. See you guys once I'm there. Oh, I missed one of these things over here, apparently. Kine called on Parthenax, who pitied man. Together they taught men to use the voice. Then dragon war rage, dragon against tongue. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Rothgar. Uh, who are you? Just a pilgrim. I'd prefer to leave it at that, if you don't mind. I want to be able to actually see her face. Don't even think about it. There we yes. go. Did you hear the Greybeards call Dovahkiin? I was just outside Iverstead when it happened. It's an exciting moment. Nothing like this has happened in centuries. 
And what are you doing? Walking the steps, meditating on the emblems. I make this trip every few years. Okay, fair enough. Mm -hmm. As I was saying before the crash, um, even though this is certainly not the scale of a real mountain, not anywhere even close to it, Bethesda has a way of making things in miniature, but yet they feel not unrealistic somehow for some reason, even though they kind of should be probably. Man prevailed, shouting Alduin out of the world proving for all that their voice was too was strong, although their sacrifices were many-fold. So he kicked out Alduin from our world so that, so that we could have dominion over it, I guess, and live in peace. I suppose all this happened because Alduin did not like man having the voice. And Parthenax pitied man. Felt bad for us because we were... I don't know, we were so much lesser. Slaves, maybe? Not really sure. Is this a cave? Huh, this is a cave, I guess. Where is this? Um, okay. Oh, par pardon me. Okay. Random frost troll over here. I keep forgetting I have that, um, mace. I never actually improved it. I, I have the ore probably to do it. I got some aura calcum ore previously. Okay, uh, well, oh, we're hungry. All right. We're hungry. Should probably cast my heal spell as well, get that going. Get that minor healing going. Hey, you finally got a restoration level. I'll take that. All right, let's keep going. Nope, oh, another one. With roaring tongues, the Sky Children conquer, founding the first empire with sword and voice, whilst the dragons withdrew from this world. Where'd they go, though? Just a different lands where men were not, or to a different dimension? The tongues at Red Mountain went away humbled. Jürgen Windcaller began his seven-year meditation to understand how strong voices could fail. The tongues at Red Mountain went away humble. Is this referring to Morrowind stuff? Isn't that what the Red Mountain is all about? Jürgen Windcaller could show silence and returned. The 17 disputants could not host him down, shot him down. Jürgen the Calm built his home on the throat of the world. So no one could shut him down, and so he made his home here. Was he like the first graybeard? To live in seclusion up here?
For years all silent, the Greybeard spoke one name. Tiber Septim, Stripling then, was summoned to Hrothgar. They blessed and named him Dovahkiin. Oh. The voice is worship. Follow the inner path. Speak only in true need. And here is the offering for them. Blacksmith's letter. Okay, I don't really want this stuff, but I want to read what the letter says. Some masterwork stuff, huh? Let's see what this says. It is my great honor to have made this pilgrimage. Long have I dreamed of climbing the sacred mountain. I leave this, my finest set of armor, in tribute and thanks. Oh, how nice of him. I don't feel right taking this stuff. Maybe later they'll tell me to go ahead and take it, but... For now, not so much. We can just walk in here, I guess. Maybe they wouldn't let anybody just walk in here, but we can. Dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. You call me Dragonborn, what does that mean? First, let us see if you truly are Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Alright. Boom! Strike us with the power of your voice. Dragonborn, it is you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn, why have you come here? You summoned me, after all. Yeah, I'm answering your summons. We are honored to welcome a Dragonborn to High Hrothgar. We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment of your destiny. What is my destiny? That is for you to discover. We can show you the way, but not your destination. So, who are you and what is this place? We are the Greybeards, followers of the Way of the Voice. You stand in High Hrothgar, on the slopes of Kinarith's sacred mountain. Here we commune with the voice of the sky, and strive to achieve balance between our inner and outer selves. I want to find out what it means to be Dragonborn. Well, we are here to guide you in that pursuit, just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the Dragonblood that came before you. Yes, um, Tiber Septim. But you mean I'm not the only Dragonborn? You are not the first. There have been many of the dragon blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. Okay, I am ready to learn. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Uh, that remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood 
gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, the second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Ro. Just look at it. We're good. Oh, I had to. I had to crouch. It was too far away. You learn a new word like a master. You truly do have the gift. But learning a word of power is only the first step. You must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn. You can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Ro. Use your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. Okay, where are the targets? Oh, okay. Well done. Again. It's gonna have a cooldown though. Maybe not. You learn quickly. Once more. So, sorry, man. Impressive. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragonborn. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Mori. Okay, RP walk time. He actually walks at the correct speed for once. They walk at the proper walking speed. Well, very close to it anyway. Close enough. It's a wee bit chilly up here. Master Bori will teach you wool, which means whirlwind. Wool. You must hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a thumb. Approach Master Bori and he will give it to you his magical wool. Hold on, I gotta equip it. Uh, we'll demonstrate whirlwind sprint. Then it will be your turn. Master Bori. X. Move. Now it's your turn. Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. Got it. He won't talk, obviously. Your quick mastery of a new thume is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how I do it, it just happens. 
You were given this gift by the gods for a reason. It is up to you to determine how best to use it. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jorgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ostengrath. Remain true to the way of the voice. Why are the dragons returning? Does it have anything to do with me? No doubt. The appearance of a dragonborn at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. But there has to be more you can tell me. There is indeed much that we know that you do not. That does not mean that you are ready to understand it. Do not let your easy mastery of the voice tempt you into the arrogance of power. That has been the downfall of many Dragonborn before you. Why are the shouts in the Dragon language? Dragons have always been able to shout. Language is intrinsic to their very being. There is no difference in the dragon tongue between debating and fighting. Shouting comes as naturally to a dragon as breathing or speaking. In mythic times, when mortal kind was in great need, the goddess Kinnereth granted us the ability to speak as dragons do. For most people, long years of training are required to learn even the simplest shout. But for you, the dragon speech is in your blood and you learn it almost without effort. There are only four of you? Five. Our leader, Parthenax, lives alone on the peak of the throat of the world. When your voice can open the path, you will know you are ready to speak to him. So... when can I meet him? As I said, you will know you are ready when your voice can open the path to him. Who was Jürgen Windcaller? He was a great war leader of the ancient Nords, a master of the voice or tongue. After the disaster at Red Mountain, where the Nord army was annihilated, he spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat. He finally came to realize that the gods had punished the Nords for their arrogant and blasphemous misuse of the voice. He was the first to understand that the voice should be used solely for the glory and worship of the gods, not the glory of men. Jürgen Windcaller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition, and the way of the voice was born. What is the way of the voice? The voice was a gift of the goddess Kinnereth. At the dawn of time, she gave mortals the ability to speak as dragons do. Although this gift has often been misused, the only true use of the voice is for the worship and glory of the gods. True mastery of the voice can only be achieved when your inner spirit is in harmony with your outward actions. In the contemplation of the sky, Kinnereth's domain, and the practice of the voice, we strive to achieve this balance. I will try to follow the way of the voice. That is commendable. But remember, the dragon blood is itself a gift of Akatosh. Do not try to deny that gift. Your destiny requires you to use your voice. Why else would Akatosh have bestowed this power upon you? If you remember to use your voice in service to the purpose of Akatosh, you will remain true to the way. Hmm, okay. Breath and focus. I'll have to learn more about Akatosh, I suppose, then. He's not the Orcish God. Yeah. 
right? We cannot get through here. Okay, I w I'd like to not die. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Sheesh. So you have to be able to pass through that to get through there. Well, that wasn't too bad of an introduction there, I suppose. I might wander around here a little bit and see what else is here, but I don't think there's anything we really need to do more here. Our path is our own now, essentially. We can do what we wish. Though, if we want to remain true to the way of the voice, we have to remain true to the will of Akatosh, which I am not sure what the will of Akatosh is, so... We'll have to find out more about that. I'm pretty sure I have a book or two about the gods and about Akatosh, so I'll be doing some reading, probably, to figure that out. But for now, I think we're going to call that good for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.